Hey guys, how's it going? I hope you can hear me over the, over the wind because it is blowing a bit here at the at the boat ramp. I'm an, I am generally I am really impressed about the amount of views I got on the build on this stupid engine. And I have had a couple of comments on the video but also in my in my background a lot of people saying why in the world aren't you going on the water so let's do it let's try it out today let's put this baby in the water and see how she does in Kenny's clacky garage we're making it right from rusty to shiny we'll restore the delight Beautiful. Let's just slam the door right into the <laughs> dumbass. Let's hope it's it's holding up. If not. Got the other one. So let's see if she will move. <laughs> I just noticed right now that there's a guy in the car parked up here <laughs> and I'm walking around here talking to myself perfect <laughs> So, we are in, so let me just place it and let's have a little chat. So we're in the water. The plug is in. It seems to be leaking a little bit, but let's hope that it, it holds up. And I really hope that the engine will start and run because otherwise I have to jump into the 10 degree warm water and swim to shore. Well, it has just been running, so let's hope, let's hope that it does again. Maybe I need to prime it a bit. <laughs> there we are. I'm just gonna let it run and warm up a bit. Let's take it for a spin. I'm not planning on going anywhere in particular, maybe just around here in the basin. So, yeah. Let's see how it goes. Well, that was a short joy. I don't know if you can see it, and I, if you don't like blood, like blood then maybe <laughs> 
I've just smeared blood all over the place because I caught my hand on that stupid fucking cheap piece of shit handle. So that went really well for our first sea trial. <laughs> damn, damn it. I also took a hit. On the other hand, you know where I lean my hand against the engine. Well, that was a short trip. Well, at least the boat still holds water, so I'll be back another day. Well, that was quite disappointing, but maybe also, maybe I should have figured out that it would happen because it actually happened. Let's rewind a little bit. What actually happened here? I actually I didn't record it when it this specific incident happened, but in the last video with this engine, I actually did record it, but it didn't went so bad in that video. <laughs> I have actually also broken a, a handle already just by pulling it, so that's yeah, really cheap handles and maybe not not that great of an engine. Really? Maybe I should go out in the garden and pick myself a stick. What a piece of shit. Where it did go wrong was... I have I have let go of my strings to the... So the, the boat was floating on its own and the engine was running. But I think there's more than one thing contributing to the issues and this incident. When I start the engine, it always revs up really high, and I think that maybe, even though I, sh I did shim the engine up one millimeter, it still has that howling sound like something is binding a little bit while it is running. So maybe I need to shim up the engine a bit more so that it's not running, it's not taking that, not, that much power to run, unloaded. And also, because the engine cannot keep itself running at a low throttle, it, it cuts out when I throttle down. Because I want it to run at a lower RPM when I put it in gear. So I throttle down, the, in, the RPMs go down and the engine dies. And then I have to go through the trouble again of starting it. And maybe that's a bit hard because of the engine is binding, you, you see where I'm going here. Anyways, I have to do some stuff off camera. It's just tiring for you to see. I'm gonna shim it up a little bit more and yeah what I think what I think is happening why it kicks back is yeah all all that starting action I think what's happening is the string the string is not that long and I think I think if the engine is at a compression stroke when I reach when I reach the the full string length then those two fins are still in, engaged and and then my two fingers holding the handle have to fight the compression of the engine so I think that's what happened happens when this is happening I think the string is too short so I'm going to put in a new string, a new handle, a better handle, shim the engine up and then try again. So for now, let's, let's call this a big fat fail. Now trigger warning, if you don't like blood. Maybe skip the rest of the video. It's not that bad, but I'm gonna include a couple of pictures and some small clips. I actually got sewed. I, I got to the ER and she could pull the wound open almost half an inch. So, and it was three millimeters deep. So something did happen. 
and I had to take a break from anything because it was my index finger and I cannot do anything. I'm right-handed, so everything has been at a standstill for a week now, but now I think I can slowly pick up again. Yeah. Thank you for watching. Enjoy the pictures. See you next time. what's in store together we'll fix and we'll always want more